The sources from Memphis are saying, Rallo, he's trying to keep Young Dolph Legacy alive. He's going to buy PRE for $150 million to keep the Young Dolph name still going. Because at the end of the day, Mia J, she knows exactly what Rallo is doing. Rallo and Dolph was business partners. They was about to make a lot of money, a lot of M's together. And this is what made Yo Gotti and Moneybag Yo jealous. One thing you got to know is that Moneybag Yo, he's scared of Rallo. He was running away from him. We all seen it in that footage. When you binge watch everything, you can see that Moneybag Yo stepped into the concert. As soon as he seen Rallo, he took off running to the right. He pulled the security guard in front of him so that in case Rallo came running after him, that Moneybag Yo would get away and everything. This is why when Rallo came back out he, on his first day, the first thing he said with the cameras on is that he's not rocking with CMG. He's way on Dolph's side and there's no coming back and anything like that. And he knows that the thing between him and CMG, it's not even a real beef. It's the fact that they hated on him and everything and they hated on Dolph. And that's one thing that they got in common. So now that Rallo's out, he's going to make sure that all the money goes to Trey Trey and Young Dolph Kids. He's going to make sure that Mia J, everything is going to be actually taken care of. But at the end of the day, it has to be realized that the fact that everything got to go to Trey Trey, the whole Dolph Museum, Rallo about to do it. When he signs more PRE artists, Rallo about to sign Key Glock. He's linking up with Gucci Man. They already got a PRE 1017. Gucci Man, he already... Bought CMG, buying PRE, he's trying to buy the actual movement out of there. This is why he signed Big Scar. This is why he actually paid for Big Scar's funeral and everything like that. Rallo and, and uh, Gucci, man, they know that they have to represent for Dolph and that they have to come back to Memphis and actually lead the people because they know that Yo Gotti and Moneybag Yo and Black Youngster, they're not going to do that. They already had their chance. They've been on the run for a long time. The feds are looking for them. And now that they're pulling up, somebody pulled up and tried to smack Black Youngster at the concert. And this is why... Because CEO Jizzle getting hit up, it all comes back into this full circle, into a revolving door situation. Every time that something happened at the CMG concert is because of the karma. And so this is what Rallo has been paying attention to. That's why Rallo hasn't went out and did a show yet. He's going to be strategic about how he moves because the first show Rallo tries to do, he knows for a fact that the people are going to try to actually pull up on the show and do something. This is the reason why everything is being under the radar right now. Big Moochie Great, he doing a turkey drop. He just announced that Big Moochie Grape is doing the turkey drive on Dolph's commemorative day, on Dolph Day. You got to remember, the city of Memphis, Tennessee, actually honorary gave Young Dolph a, the day. And November 18th, November 17th, it should really be the 17th, but... You know, the turkey driver is going to be on that same day. Big Moochie Grape, he's doing it again. He's doing the turkey driver. They're going to change the address this time. A lot of people were thinking Big Moochie Grape has something to do with Dolph because he didn't answer his phone and the turkey drive was supposed to be with him doing it. But then they changed the address last second. This is what Rallo was looking at. When Rallo actually talked to the people that was out there in Memphis at the time, they told him everything about how Snoop bands, he didn't answer the call. He was at the barbershop. How Dolph was supposed to do a music video of Makita's. Key Glock didn't show up. The only person that showed up was Dolph Brother. And Dolph Brother in witness protection. So Rallo hasn't gotten a chance to talk to him at all. Rallo, he got the proffer agreement to get out so that he can make sure that PRE, Mia J, and Trey Trey are taken care of. Because you already know Angela Simmons and Yo Gotti, they've been planning and plotting to break up. And so they really looking at it like Angela Simmons talked to Mia J and they came to a agree on to, to disagree they said we're gonna agree to disagree we're not rocking with cmg we told you how yo Gotti was and everything mia j explained to angela simmons that she should have never even got into the relationship with yo Gotti because of the fact that it was a lot of baggage and strings attached from him having something to do with young Dolph. So all that was gonna do was bring karma back to Angela Simmons and Mia J, she was completely right. This is why when young Dolph, he was speaking about Mia J, he was speaking about everything that is happening right now. Rallo, he seen it coming. So Gucci man and, and uh, Keisha Kior, they pulled up to Memphis to make sure to let Mia J know that if anything come through bread that was supposed to be set aside for young Dolph, they are gonna set it aside for Trey Trey. They told Mia J, Mia J, we can't give you the $12.8 million for Young Dolph car collection. 
that has to go into the will, into the estate to go back to Trey Trey. Trey Trey should be having full control. Young Dolph kids should be having full control and get all the bread that was supposed to be promised to them because they actually closer to Dolph than Mia J was. If that's Dolph kids and Mia J and Dolph ain't married, then this goes to show the fact that this, this is the reason why the GoFundMe money, the car show money, the Dolph Museum, everything that was supposed to be coming in to Dolph's estate, this is why they actually had to hold on to it for a while because they had to figure out, wait, is Mia J actually young Dolph's spouse? Are they married? And if not, then this needs to go to Trey Trey, the kids. That's why you could go binge watch all the videos and the whole $12 million car collection that young Dolph left he left that to his kids for generational wealth. But Rallo, he's the one that's trying to buy PRE. And with Gucci, man, they're trying to put the money together. It's going to be over $150 million to buy PRE. That means they'll be able to get all the Dolph songs, Key Glock, everybody that's in on it, and just keep this thing going because there hasn't been a lot of PRE concerts since Dolph left. It hasn't been a lot of, like, nothing too much going on. Of course, it was a lot more going on when Dolph was planning and organizing things because Dolph was about his business. He had everything lined up weeks in advance, tours, world tours, um, European tours and everything. He was going to take Key Glock with him to go all over the world and everything. And so now Rallo and Gucci, man, they see that they got to still make that happen because it's a lot of money left on the table that young Dolph was supposed to be getting in and everything and that could be passed down to the generational wealth that he's supposed to leave behind and so this is why they represent him for young Dolph Rallo and Gucci man they coming back to Memphis and letting everybody know that they are on young Dolph's side they not rocking with CMG and they can't even rock with CMG because they know for a fact that Memphis is a small town and if they even went and met with Yo Gotti it would all it would be all bad because they wouldn't want to do it. And a lot of people in the streets look at the fact that Black Youngster's brother already got hit up. Everybody that has something to do with CMG, they hung out with the dudes from CMG or they was going to be signed to them or they their brother or something. Eventually, every, something ended up happening to some everybody from the whole thing, man. Like I told you, it was a war in Memphis the whole summer, the whole last two years. And now that Rallo's out, he's going to make sure that this all goes back to the way it was where PRE was on top. CMG, they keep having the things happen at the concerts and so they don't want to pop out of Memphis no more. This is why Yo Gotti moved to Bali. Black Youngster moved to Cancun. He had to leave the country because of the fact that he's tied up with the Rico and his brother getting hit up puts him in more pressure and everything like that because he actually went out there. He tweeted. He put the post out. Black Youngster saying that he was going to slide and get revenge and he was going to crash out and he doesn't care anymore. He don't care about the repercussions of his actions and all that. Money bag, yo. He broke up with Ari. Things was going bad. He's scared that Rallo came back out because the main thing about Rallo and CMG was that it was an issue between Moneybag Yo and Rallo for whatever reason. Rallo said that he don't really got no more issues with them, but he knows that it's a lot. It's still like very sketchy and, and, and they have to move a certain way. They got to keep their head on the swivel because even if Rallo says that he don't got a problem with Moneybag Yo no more, Moneybag Yo could still be feeling a certain type of way because of the way that Rallo was making him feel spooked when he was coming up because he knows for a fact that Young Dolph, Young Dolph was the one who put Moneybag Yo on. He gave him a free feature. The song is still out there with Young Dolph and Moneybag Yo. And you can look it up and everything, but Rallo knows for a fact that Moneybag Yo never paid homage to Dolph. He never actually thanked Dolph for any of that kind of stuff. And this is the reason why the whole relationship between CMG, Rallo, PRE, 1017 is rocky because of the fact that a lot of people, they was low-key sneak dissing, hating on each other. It was a lot of dissing going back and forth between Yo Gotti songs and Young Dolph songs. And this is what made everything like to what it is today. And at the end of the day, y'all got to realize that Rallo trying to make sure he take care of Dolph Legacy. He going to make sure he take care of PRE and make sure that all the other artists keep getting what they supposed to get. And at the end of the day, he knows that he's going to be loyal to PRE because he was with Young Dolph in the early stages. And that this is the reason why he's not rocking with CMG at all.